Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Fox. I am a board certified pediatric dentist. I have um, four offices in the South Denver metro area, uh, Colorado Kids Pediatric Dentistry um, and Kids Tooth Doc. I became a pediatric dentist for a very unique uh, reason. I was a pediatric ICU and trauma nurse in Atlanta uh, right after my undergraduate uh, studies and I took care of a child who died from a dental infection and I was horrified, I was appalled. I had originally planned to go to uh, medical school and I decided to go to dental school to fix this problem that in modern age people still have children who are dying from dental infection. As a group of pediatric dental colleagues we wanted to solve that problem and, and have a partner to help us manage these practices, help us hire people, help us um, keep the costs down in our practices so that we can do what we need to do, what we're passionate about. And along the way, we talked to many, many DSOs and um, they just were not the right fit. There was too much control of the clinical part of, of dentistry. Many of them didn't really have any idea what pediatric dentists do or how they do it and um, so we couldn't find a partner that way and so we we about 11 12 of us um, tried to form our own group of pediatric dentists to um, partnership with each other and surprisingly as we were doing that um, we stumbled along MB2 as we started um, examining what kind of partner MB2 could be for pediatric dentists, we were amazed actually uh, that the number of um, management tools that they have, it's very different um, than a DSO and it really is a partnership and we have complete clinical autonomy and that is something that we really felt strongly um, was something that um, that me and my associates were um, looking for. And MB2, I talked to practices that were with MB2 a long time. I talked to practices that had just joined with MB2 and we found it very um, probably uh, compatible with us. So we went up to, uh, well, we went down to Dallas and we spent a day with folks at MB2 and the the attitude of whatever you need, we can try to do is amazing. And um, it didn't take long before we were really into discussion about how this could work with our practice. And we're so happy that we are doing this and that we can concentrate on the kind of things that we became dentists for. And that is not paperwork for me. It is um, my passion, which is to keep the children healthy. So as we started this journey to um, become partners with MB2 or continue to explore whether we were going to do that or not, um, I was very impressed with the amount of information that was open to us. Every I could call anybody at MB2. As a matter of fact, I talked to Dr. V first day um, and we really explored what um, what they could offer to us. And um, from the very beginning, there was plenty of communication. It wasn't annoying, but it was plenty of communication. Whatever questions we had were answered. And um, we were in touch with one particular person and they he was like a concierge. It was amazing. So um, Zach is the one who uh, would be just he just guided us through the whole process. Uh, it was really easy, actually. Um, and by the time it came to closing day, everything had already been settled and taken care of and agreed upon. And we were, um, it was actually very relaxing. It wasn't a, it wasn't a big trauma. <laughs> um, our staff, I have a, obviously a very large staff, and they were included in the process um, and of course millions of questions and uh, even Lindsay came down and and talked to our staff several weeks before the closing to answer any questions that they had and so they also had an open 
chain of communication with MB2 because they've heard, you know, all kinds of things about DSOs. And it was very comforting that they had um, any, they had people that, that were able to talk to them about it when we didn't know the specific answer. Um, and then when it came to time to turn over the, the um, single ownership to partnership, we had four people, five people in town. Um, the IT support was amazing. Uh, and we had five people in town who just held our hand to go through the very minimal um, administrative things that we had to do. And of course, it affected the clinical people zero. They were just doing their jobs every day. The, the doctors were seeing patients and it was just super easy. And I think that, um, especially for a super busy practice, uh, is, is really a key, the key. It was very easy and it has been since. If I had to give advice to anyone who is considering um, a partnership that can increase your um, production, increase your, build your practice, management and marketing, I would definitely consider uh, MB2 and talking to MB2 and when you can compare MB2 to the other um, groups out there, I think you'll see a huge difference. And um, they're super open and they, and the, and the MB2 partners, partner doctors are happy to talk to you as well. So I would definitely recommend that for all dentists that are interested. And I'm very convinced that pediatric dentists especially are gonna be super um, supported by MB2 as partners.